DeMarco denies Vibes Cartel voicing in prison and says Movado has no talent, just hype. Once the hot dog man, now Mr. Hot Wings, DeMarco recently launched a lyrical attack on Movado during the battle between the unruly clan and the gully clan. But DeMarco's attack failed to draw the attention of Movado despite the dancehall community classifying DeMarco's lyrics as damaging and deadly. You wake up every man into your body man brother, I'm to your youth. King Kong step on them call up Under your body man brother you fi fall up Pani wala go side me a got your dog Them fi know me right with them lord The Marco did a recent interview with Anthony Miller The host of TVJ's The Entertainment Report Where the Marco spoke about his music, his weight and arguable Fans' favorite topics, Movado and Vibes Cartel. As usual, the conniving Anthony asked the Marco a string of questions, including Is Vibes Cartel voicing from behind the bars? But the Marco quickly shunned that question. That song was recorded recently. I, I don't know. You would have to ask TJ. Remember, you know, Vibes Cartel is an artist. We record an album in a one day. You know. So the amount of music Vibes Cartel have that is unreleased, may I tell you, because them man there, you know, you hear the man say when he's out there, he record like six, seven songs a day. So obviously you can, you can still have a whole catalog of, 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 of songs put down right now for Vibes Cartel. The Marco also went on to share his thoughts on his new rival, Movado. Um, no, sometimes that, that's if the artist is not good. If they don't respond, that means they are, they are afraid. That artist in big is a big artist. You see me? We well, keep it real. He's a bigger artist than I am. But you see, if him, Gus Obama answer me, you know, in free, say, me go Gus Obama and film, which part him there, I go higher. So he just refused to answer. Subscribe now for daily reports on dance on news and entertainment. Up and running, up and gunning with your live. Me have my spliff on Scooter there right outside the studio. But with the year we have a kick of vibe right now. So the Marco recently did an, did an interview upon uh, um uh, entertainment report on TVJ. You know everybody familiar with TVJ and Anthony Miller. Sorry for some people who rate Anthony Miller to the extent that but I personally don't rate him and I said that before so no no I did so anyways but just want to say one thing before the Marco don't want to call Mova the name in at all not that in fear him you know he's like he's like the man despise the Marco name like the name forbidden you know like Voldemort in a in a in a Harry Potter I um, don't know if I call the name right because I know you have all the Harry Potter fans I got it like It's not so the name pronounced but I have a song to play for you know. Hey, you know what she said? What she said? She want shatter, she no want Harry Potter She want hood fire, cause hood fire hatter If I'm late not the night she... Anyways Like me I said, the man no want to call Move the name then at all. That's to how much the man now rate. Move out, you see me? And I hope you know, watch the interview outside of this because I don't give you know, the full interview, but I give you know, like the main parts that me I discuss. But you can you can go and check out the interview. You see me, I'm gonna provide the link in the description as usual. Cause you know say so once you talk about a topic and uh, it's not an exclusive, we try to share a link for help complement the stories and so forth. Dirty Anthony, you see me, like me I said, this is the reason why I don't like the man. The man, although I don't like no man none at all, but Sam used the wrong word. This is the reason why I don't rate the man. The man I talk about DeMarco and his career, yes, the little battle with the Movado, but at the end of the day, he's still going to squeeze in the question for whether or not Vibes Cartel still a vice in a prison. Him though directly go out at it and say, um, DeMarco is Vice Cartel voicing in prison. He may go ask if 
the song was recently recorded, the Miracle song. And with him and DeMarco, them on the recent one where it dropped. So, him now with him little conniving pussy always. I go sit down there and I go ask the man uh, if the song was recently recorded. If DeMarco I go say yes, the song was recently recorded, that simply means a vibes cartel or a uh, vice in a prison. Many people still ask me so what if Vibes got to tell a vice in a prison. Come on, I don't do no homework now. I'm not supposed to not tell you this you know, because I'm telling you over and over again. So why am I keep on for God through this with someone? Oh my gosh. Jeez. Anyways, the reason why Vibes Cartel is not allowed to voice in prison, you see me? He is prohibited for doing, from doing so. Um, it's because of the whole Clive Lizard Williams, you know, the case 35 to life. Why am they in a prison? Um, if him a device in a prison, all of the money supposed to go. All of the earnings from the songs, them supposed to go to Lizard and his family. Five Scar and never agree to that, so that's why I'm not supposed to be voicing in prison. Yeah. Anyways, like I say, Anthony come back with that question there. Remember last time we did the interview on Boom Boom and... Uh, Fire us from Stone Love, yeah, we do that, in, um, him do that interview there and then we do the report on it. I'm going to show you where I'm really going with it. Now I'm coming back with it again with DeMarco. Unlike him, I try to draw out the man. But DeMarco smarter than Boom Boom and Fire us. Though I don't think it have nothing to do with smarts. Me personally feel like Boom Boom and Fire us have some kind of personal vendetta against Vibes Cartel to some extent. You know, because if you never know, um, uh, what the girl name again? I think she named DJ Shine, Sunshine or something like that. She and Boom Boom are big, 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 big friends. Big, big, big friends. If you never know, probably them come as close to you as being best friends. But you know that if you never know, I'm going to update you on a little fuck. Movado and, and Sunshine did they at one point, you know? And Sunshine hit Vibes Cartel up to this day. You know, she eat Vibes Cartel. So, that's a that. Um, next thing. I never know, say, Movado. I'm not Movado. The Marco builds so much rhythm for Movado. I never know that. Thanks for sharing that info with me, the Marco. And any Gully fans, if you're listening to this, I don't want to feel. If you're not listening to this, I don't want to feel like. I find everything for talk about Movado. You know, I rate Movado. I rate most of the dancehall artists, them. Honestly, I don't rate every one of them. But I rate Movado, I rate Alkaline, I rate Popcorn, I rate Idonia, I rate Vibes Cartel, Massacre, Jamila, and a whole lot more. Them Marco too. You know, so. I don't want to feel like say, when I talk about an artist and I dish out the thing, them. you know, I just have to draw for certain things to support the story, right? That's how a report supposed to go. You can't just talk about a topic and then have, and then do have no substance. So, anyways, we are going to get back to the story right away. Um, like I said, I never know that DeMarco do so much reading for Movado. As I said before, or if you never get the part, then let me play it back, you know? I never know. But based off of that now, I sum up a little thing. It come like say everybody me don't want to say help out. But everybody will have a hand for doing move out of the career, put a hand in a move out of the career. Down the line, him and them no longer agree. For instance, you have flex to the complex, who oh, are move out of the songwriter for years. Then you have a Vibes Cartel where write five songs for move out of the Tony Star. <laughs> Doa Movado is a really great artist, so I think even Doa Cartel helped him, yeah, eventually he would have get him big break, despite the Cartel write five song for him. But yeah, you know, him and Flex um, uh, kick off, then him and Vibes Cartel, you know, who helped him. Him and uh, Bounty Killer will play a big role in his career. Surprisingly, um, the marker right five, not five. The marker right, um, make a couple reading game. So you know, and that after some of some of my biggest song them too. So it come like say from you have uh, something positive to do with move out of career somewhere down the line on the Nago Gree. Yeah, that to that. Anyways, I'm honest. That's what me can say because him do admit say. 
Um, him don't have a hit since 2014. That's sad. Since 2014, but him honest. Like me, I say him honest. Um, uh, I think the last hit where him have was Poppy Tail. I know some of like Poppy Tail, but you can't take that from him, you see me? Poppy Tail was large. You have to give Poppy Tail the props. So I'm honest on uh, um, the whole uh, status of him career and which point they're right now. Although I think searching like Google the good film really bring him pan, pan them up away and like him set him a hope you know miracle work out that way the miracle start off extremely good already you know eat couple eat a million within a week and not a million that was in the video I'm sorry let me tell you that but anyways miracle is doing good the video that eat a million in a week was um coloring this life <laughs> wow some sexy girls I can understand why the video get a million views within a week and uh, last but not least the market of a weight loss program I think that's a good contribution to the plus size society not plus size guys plus size are okay but people where you know the word obesity come in play I think you know the marker weight loss program is a good thing because you know the marker is kind of like a people person if you never watch him program um, uh, I don't remember the name, I shit right anyway still but the marker people person and I think the weight loss program are going to do him good apart from that you know with all of that and the interview him angle the interview well I, uh, uh, I'm, I'm glad him don't do like the little fog out there boom boom and fire us big up to stone love same way cause you know so on a legendary sound but me I go say fire pan batim and fire us and batim and boom boom you know I try work with Anthony for try sink the man and I think it's easy you know I say that when I try come with you know but anyway that to that oh fuck the time almost done so we are going off this quick and fast you know say football about English Premier League that is you know we're not going to La Liga nor the German League because of English we think there right so anyways I'm an Arsenal fan if you do watch the football you can tell me what kind of fans you uh, be or over which club you carry and I think I'm going to start a little competition you know at the end of it we're going to see who wins something good something big ha Anyways, we out. Enjoy the program. I'm going to get back to my weed and my liquor hours in the friggin' morning. You know? Name not the woman near me. At the least, that. I'm not that. Spliff that. Spliff on my liquor. And your sexy Samantha come call me and ask for your phone. Anyways, people, I'm out. Subscribe now for daily reports on dancehall news and entertainment. When they my make that, man, I make that. Go kill a 4 4, make your head part. Bad man thing, I know that again. A action over my dog. Ten of them. Chick up, work it, work it, work it, work it. Chick up, work it. Will Idonia ever reach Vibes Cartels, Movados, Alkalines, and Popcorns level? Let's be honest. Dancehall is a music genre played, listened and enjoyed all over the world. From the days of King Yellowman, Supercat, Shabaranks, Ninja Man to Lady Saw, Bouncy Killer, Beanie Man, Spraga Benz to Assassin, Vibes Cartel, Movado and Young Giants such as Alkaline, Massacre, Dexter Daps and more. But let's face the facts, at the moment, Vibes Cartel, Movado.